Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is that recap video that I was talking about in my second update video. So we're just going to be going over my thoughts on all the content that I missed. I technically didn't miss it because I was playing during it. It's just I was not here to actually, you know, upload my thoughts or any gameplay or anything. But I'm feeling better now, so let's, let's get right to it. Let's get right to it. So the one big main thing is that they nerfed Conqueror not once, but twice. I was actually really surprised by this. The first one, I was like, yeah, they're probably gonna nerf Conqueror, but it probably won't be that soon. And then it like, they they nerfed him a couple days like later, like maybe even a day after. I, I don't have the exact date, but they nerfed him pretty fast. And, and while, you know, the changes were good, it still felt like he was a little annoying. So they went, they made a second one like days later, which I was really impressed by. Ubisoft usually doesn't act this fast, but if this is how all their balance patches are gonna go, then please, please do it more. Like that, that's amazing. The second nerf obviously was better. There were some unneeded changes. Like I, I can't remember it off the top of my head, but it, it's the one thing that Freeze didn't like, which I also think is kind of just weird. It doesn't really make any sense. But yeah, overall, I really like the Conqueror changes. I feel like he's going to be a good addition to the roster. There's some things on him I don't like, like the chain unblockable heavies. Not because it's dumb. I just don't like it because it, feel like it's, it feels like it doesn't really have much use. I feel like they could have just given him like a finisher unblockable heavy, and it would have done the same job. I just don't like it being infinite because I feel like there's no point to it. Because most of the time, someone's going to try and parry it, and you're just going to get a guard break, and you're going to go right back to where you were before. Which I feel is just kind of pointless, and I felt that he should have just not had, like, the infinite chain. Or maybe had some kind of, like, you know, in-chain, like, chargeable, heavy, like, Hitakiri does. Like, that would have been way cooler. But it's in the game. There's not much we can do about it now. The second thing that I missed in quotes was the testing grounds oh my god the testing grounds was so atrocious now this is going to probably be uploaded after i have made that warrior's den video because i'm recording this after i've already uploaded it well you know uploaded it to youtube it's probably still trying to publish right now but oh my god it's bad i'm so glad it's not coming in the game but it was really bad to some characters being just immune gods to everything, like Shinobi and Aramusha, Aramusha especially. To characters like Kyoshin, not Kyoshin, but Kensei, getting one of their like really cool, you know, moves, like the forward dodge guard break thing, just completely shut down, was so dumb. It made chargeable bash heroes really dumb as well, because you couldn't punish them unless you had a dodge attack which I don't think is very fun. Luckily, it's not getting put in the game, thank God, so we can actually enjoy the game normally for once. That's what the testing ground is for. I'm not dissing the devs for suggesting the change. I did like the idea of the change. I just really don't like how they executed it. It's something that seems like it would work on paper, and then when you try and do it, it just doesn't work because of how the game's mechanics works. So I'm glad it's not in the game. But they tried something new. I can't blame them. Hopefully next Texan Grounds is, you know, a rework for someone like Yorm or Nusia. But better, no better luck next time. They at least tried something out, and I'm happy that they are trying to mix things up. There was also a Hero Fest for Hidekiri, which I really liked the execution on. That is, It was very clean. Not really much else to say about it. It's just the Hidekiri execution was really clean. And I liked it, and I'm I'm glad that the Hero Fest stuff is just still a thing. It lets us get unique executions without, you know, having to wait several years for us to get executions for everybody. It's like we we get I think we get four of these a season or something, maybe even more. I think it's like maybe six if I'm not wrong. But we we get these, and it's it's a good compromise because they just. Give people the hero for free. You, you get to try them on, try them out, and you get them on a discount, and they get a free execution forever. And it's it's just a perfect system, and I really like it. I can't really much I can't really say much else about it. So I'm just gonna move on. The one thing of note that I did miss was the tar material and the meet your biggest fans execution. 
Oh my god, that tar material is really good. Like, it doesn't matter what character is on, it just looks really clean. I really like it. It's like that perfect mix of black iron, but you still want like the shiny material. I think it just looks perfect. For all those like edgy wardens out there, I think this would probably be a really good like choice for you if you don't want to go like super edgy. Like if you want to go like Batman type of edgy, you know, where he's got like the shining armor and everything like you, it's perfect. It's perfect. The execution, I think is really cool as well. It only really fits on some characters, mainly the Wulin and mainly the Samurai, but you can use it on basically everybody else that you want. And you'll, you'll probably have some good luck with it. So yeah, that's a quick recap, like in five minutes, about like five to six minutes on my thoughts on everything I missed. Because I'm sure you guys really do enjoy my random opinions on the internet. So I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my thoughts. More videos will be coming out soon, I guarantee it. I'm currently working on a complete warmonger guide, so stay tuned for that. I don't know when it'll be done, but I'm hoping to get it out sometime this year, hopefully. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Laters.